Yes, I, I think I think a lot more needs to go well for TCU. But what I also think too is, you know, it it seems like you're focusing a lot on the Michigan offense, which I, I agree. Um, but also too, as good as that Michigan defense is, I don't think they have have played against a quarterback with the um, skill set of Max Duggan. And I and I think, you know, it, it's. It does become a backbreaker when you get a, a deep, you know, when you get a team in a third and seven and third and eight, and quarterback drops back to throw, no one's open, and he scrambles for nine, ten yards and gets a first down. Like that is backbreaking stuff. It and it and it only needs to happen a couple times before guys start to just not get as deep in their drops or. Just you know, they're they're doing their assignment, but their their eyes are in the wrong place, like those types of things. And 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 obviously, a lot needs to happen before then. But I think that that definitely changes things a bit when it comes to um, you know when it when it comes to playing defense. If I I mean if I'm TCU, my thought would be defensively, like don't give up the big play. Like we got to make Michigan earn it the entire the entire way like we we can't give up you know there i'm sure they've watched a lot of ohio state film we can't give up 75 yard runs like we cannot do that and yeah, think that you're gonna to, to to win you said what that's an that's anomaly. anomaly you know, you know I, 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 saw I saw that, that, uh, that uh, against ohio state yes but we've seen blake quorum you know pop up for 50 60 yard runs we've seen donovan edwards do it like i mean they it's not that much of an anomaly. It's actually not. I mean, well, you can well, go through the games where we've had, you know, 40, 30, 40 plus yard run games. It's been it's been more often than not that that, that it happens. Well, I, well I'm, not I'm not saying that, saying it's, that it's obvious the Michigan, Michigan offense has the ability to, to hit you with a home, with home run. run. Uh, uh, rather, rather, can, can you mute can you your side, side this? I can hear, I can hear, hear echo. Um, Rather, I believe it's – I think the bulk of the game is Michigan just wearing you down. And then eventually they can hit you with a home run here or there. Um, I think what made Blake special, however, was that he could hit that home run at any point in time, just the threat of it. But for the most part, it's, what, three and a half, four yards per carry. You know, sec, You know, we talked about it when we saw it live. There. It's like what kept Illinois in the game – defensively was the fact that Michigan was not able to run nearly as effective on first down, right? They were being put in second and nine, second and 10, sometimes second and 13 situations by having some tackles for loss, right? A loss of gain, essentially. Um, so I, I don't know. I mean, I, I saw something the TCU head coach said something about, you know, they feel very confident about, you know, their understanding of the Michigan offense and being able to uh, have a game plan to combat that. Um, I'll be interested to see what that is. Um, I would highly advise them not to do what Ohio State did and totally load the box. Um, but I will love it <laughs> in the game because um, I know that we can take advantage of that. Uh, with Cornelius, guys like Cornelius Johnson, I'm glad to say that now. Um, I anticipate Roman Wilson will play in the game. Uh, Shoemaker, all those guys. Um, uh, Col uh, Colton uh, uh, Loveland, you know, uh, as well, you know, I, I, we will not be able to take advantage of that. But um, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. It's just one of those games where it's just, yeah, you have the the spirited leader and good player in Max Duggan, right? I'm not taking anything away from him, but he's not Tim Tebow, right? You know, he's not. He, and I know that's a <laughs> – I know. Dude, well, really? I, like, you literally I, go I, to that? I like, know, he's not Tim saying, Tebow. Like, Okay, yes, we all agree he's not the greatest college football quarterback ever. But I think we all can understand that. I know, I guess, I, I just, like, he reminds me of the mo of a Tim Tebow in that he's not a great passer. He is very mobile. He's one of those spirited guys that I think he leads his team on the field, I think emotionally they they feed off his energy very similar to how Florida will feed off Tebow. That's what I mean. He's like the Tim Tebow type mode to me, right? Now, is he does he have the accolades of Tim Tebow? Of course not. All right, I'm not saying that, but but I I just feel like he has that type of effect for them, 
You, could you at least agree with me with that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> sure. I I mean, yeah. Okay. I don't. I don't know. Like that's a that's a your. Stretch, sure, stretch, stretch, stretch. I, that's what I'll say. Is sure, stretch, 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 stretch. Just say it's a stretch. It's it's a stretch to to use that guy with that comparison. I, I think there is some of uh, uh, with Duggan. There there's a scrappiness to him. I don't know, and, and I don't think he's the you know the athlete that Tebow was. Um, it it's probably a bit of a stretch, but I I do understand the comparison. Okay, good. Okay, good. good. That's um, not totally. I, I just, from an emotional standpoint, I just, when you watch him play, and, and one thing that really sticks out is the, you know, the Big, the Big 12 championship game, and he was galvanizing that team, you know, especially down the stretch, and really leading them, it seemed like back uh, to for a victory. Um, you know, he's bloody, he's, you know, he, he's beat up, he's exhausted, and he just carried that team, and it reminded me that, that grittiness that he, that he showed in the impact it had on his team and also on the field and winning, it reminded me of like how a T-ball effect would have, right? You know, it's just, he's not, he's not like this prolific, incredible passer. He can, he can throw it. I'm not saying he can't throw the football, um, but he's not this incredible prolific passer. But he just kind of, I mean, the guy lost his job at one point at TCU, you know, so he's had quite the story. Um, and by all means, uh, he has the ability as well as a guy like Quentin Johnson in a running game, they can put up points on this Michigan defense. And it's possible in the first half, they may score a couple points here and there. Um, but what gives me confidence, I think Wall Street give a lot of other Michigan fans confidence, is the incredible uh, second half adjustments that Jesse Mentor makes. I believe whatever TCU shows in the first half that is successful, Jesse Mentor will find the solution to at least neutralize uh, their biggest threat going into the second half.